Patricia Scotland, SG of the Commonwealth, continues her visit in Cameroon this Wednesday after meeting with President Paul Bier at the Unity Palace Tuesday, where she prescribed peaceful dialogue as a solution to the Anglophone crisis. End of year festivities. Measures have been taken by administrative authorities in the Little region to maintain security during end of year festivities. Tell everyone, good afternoon and thanks for joining us on this edition of the 1 p.m. English newscast on STV. And we can start this newscast in the political capital, Yaoundé, where the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, the Right Honorable Patricia Scotland, continues her visit to Cameroon this Wednesday in Yaoundé. And later in the afternoon, she shall be meeting with officials of Elections Cameroon, Connac, and other institutions. Yesterday, already at the Unity Palace, the SG emphasize on the need for dialogue as the way out of the crisis in the Northwest and Southwest regions. The Right Honorable Patricia Scotland says everything will be done to preserve the unity of Cameroon. President Paul Bia on his part emphasized on the need to eliminate what he calls extremists. Philemon Ballet with a summary of yesterday launch first. President Paul Bia was quick to defend the military, citing a series of attacks on those stationed in the northwest and southwest regions of the country, purportedly fighting against terrorists and secessionists, as he puts it. As a duty, the head of state retaliates by declaring war to punish those he calls terrorists. He equally overemphasized the Musonga Commission on the promotion of bilingualism and multiculturalism, hoping that somehow it solves the problems in the two English-speaking regions of the country while evading the hugely proposed national dialogue as solution to the crisis. Cooperational ties, he says, have been steadfast and exemplary between Cameroon and the other Commonwealth nations and remains convinced that Cameroon as a nation will beat the emergence trap by 2035. On the flip side, the Secretary General of the Commonwealth cited some common grounds. Cameroon is a very important and much treasured member of the Commonwealth family. We have enjoyed very warm relations since Cameroon joined the Commonwealth back in 1995. And Cameroon has consistently and actively participated in Commonwealth meetings and activities such as the annual Commonwealth Foreign Ministers Meeting, our biannual Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, and many others. The SG equally made allusions to the challenging times that the country is going through. But from a bird eyes viewpoint, the Secretary General suggested what the head of state did not mention as a possible solution to the current crisis in the country. As we all know, friction and division will not enhance the ability to deliver the peace that each and every one of Cameroon's citizens dearly wants. And I encourage Cameroonians from all walks of life to embrace peace, unity, and resolve any difference through peaceful dialogue. Her five-day visit will limit the diplomat to a close secret discussions with the President of the Republic, the Prime Minister, and other opinion leaders. From the Unity Palace, uh, Patricia Scotland made a brief stop at the Senate. Senate President Marcel Nyadjifenji and the SG discussed on ways the Commonwealth can assist Cameroon's young Senate. Let's now have the reaction of Patricia Scotland after that brief uh, stop at the Senate. A very great opportunity to talk to the President and to the Senators to see how many things we have in common. I shared with the Senator that I have just 
um, uh, created the Office of Civil and Criminal Justice Reform so that we can look at all our laws, making sure we have fairness and opportunity. And all our member states, all 52, including Cameroon, are contributing to this office. And I'm sure this is just the beginning of an even closer relationship. And I'm so pleased and proud that I had an opportunity to speak to the senators in person. And that always makes a difference. After the Senate, Patricia Scotland also met with the President of the National Assembly and Heads of Diplomatic Missions of Common Health Institution member countries. And we now take you to the Northwest region where Ni John Fundi, National Chairman of the Social Democratic Front Party, has slammed the Commonwealth SG for not putting pressure on the Head of State President Paul Bia to provide concrete solutions to the Young Phone crisis. He was speaking to Lovett Bay and Ignatius Amabo. During the opening address by the Head of State to the visiting Commonwealth Secretary General, Dominicas Patricia, the Head of State commented on some issues like the Boko Haram killings and the socio-political unrest in the two Anglophone regions. Here is a reaction of the National Chairman of the Social Democratic Front. Commonwealth uh, Secretary General comes in and Mr. Bia does not allow her to go out to meet the stakeholders in their different areas. Talk to the talk to the people before he comes to before she comes to meet Mr. Bia. He goes to Mr. Bia. Mr. Bia tells her, "I've done this. I've done this. I've done this." Okay, if I go on Thursday to talk to her, will she meet Mr. Bia again before she goes back? Do you think that the Secretary General of the Commonwealth came to thank Mr. Bia for uh, letting Cameroon support her candidature to be the Secretary General of the Commonwealth? But I thought that even if Cameroon contributed and uh, support candidature. It was because they saw that she was competent. And if today she is coming to Cameroon uh, but to thank Mr. Bia and takes the, uh, the, 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 the Anglophone crisis and put her head, I think that that's very unfortunate and unfair. On what the president has done to resolve the crisis? I thought that he could have come up to say that Teachers, please go to school because I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, full stop. Lawyers go to the court because I've done this. But to my understanding, to my deepest mind, I've not heard anything that he has. What about the killings? Up to now, the Commonwealth has not really done one thing to prove that democratically Cameroon is not doing this right. And uh, socially, they're not doing this right. Mr. Bia keeps calling Anglophones, who are a peace-loving people, people who are coming from a real democratic background. He calls them secessionists, terrorists, and uh, murderers. He has not even condemned the killing of some of the children. The SDF National Chairman is expected to meet with the Commonwealth Secretary General on Thursday for more discussions. Education in this newscast, the University of Boya has sent out uh, its 21st and 22nd uh, graduating batches. The over 5,000 new graduates have been called by the poor chancellor of the university to be optimistic, goal-oriented, and innovative out there in order to break through unemployment challenges and most especially to be job creators. Supply the cover with the details. These are the over 5,761 students as the University of Boya graduates its 21st and 22nd batch of students as presided by Professor Ako Oben, representing the Minister of Higher Education. The, the two batches, I think, uh, the various speeches have uh, already uh, underlined that. And, and, and it is that the University of Boya and the entire university community expects this graduating these two batches to be the ambassadors of the University of Boya. Wherever they find themselves, let them make known the UB brand. Chaired by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ngomo Horit Manga, while expressing a sense of satisfaction, equally encouraged graduates to create appropriate environments and achieve their goals. Having Right Reverend Funkin Samuel as guest speaker, his message, just like other speakers, was for graduates to face the future with optimism by investing acquired knowledge to realize their goals. 
Out of the 5,761 graduates, 4,963 were bachelor degree holders, 735 master degree, and 64 doctorate constituting the 2015-2016 badge and the 2016-2017 badge, as last year the university could not hold a graduation. HRE Lisa, the best 2015-2016 graduating student, expresses delight. I'm very glad that this ceremony actually held because it gave an opportunity for others to get our experiences and see that success is something that will come when you work hard. Also revealing about this ceremony are plans on their way for meritorious UB students to receive the first 80,000 presidential laptops by January 2nd and the remaining 40 by January 4th, 2018. From Boya, we come here in Douala, where the Jean-Marc Ekwan Bagadi for Douala for has promised to silence any forms of uh, urban disorder at the Bonasama Market and uh, the uh, Sodico Motor Park in the Douala 4 municipality. He was speaking in a Meet the People's Tour. He also promised to tackle issues of lack of portable water and toilets at these public places. Philemon Bale was part of that tour yesterday here in Douala. A lot of traders, especially women at Bonasama, welcomed the geo's entourage this morning of December 19, in what is considered a Meet the People's Tour. The administrator's warm reception was met with an almost equal but opposite outpour of grievances. This trader sees those managing the markets are simply out to extort money and make life difficult for them. The marketplace is one place you can be sure to always find problems. Today we visit the market to dialogue and register some common problems faced by the traders. We will be studying and providing possible solutions to their difficulties and a general dissolution of every form of urban disorder, especially at the motor park, which is so spacious, security and discipline has to be incorporated at the park as well. The DO's team equally made a stop at the motor park at Sodico, where a litany of problems were listed as well. At the end of the tour, satisfactory remarks were echoed from the population. Away from that, actors of the whole transport sector in the Little Al region have called on the government to ensure the respect of measures taken to facelift the sector. This was during a meeting Monday with officials of the National Commission for the Fight Against Clandestine Road Transport. Hangiwana completes that story. Regulating the clandestine transport sector in the Little Al region seemed far from becoming a reality. The, there was a committee that was put in place. Yeah, it's very right. But the follow-up, you see, when the actors went into it, they found that their interest was not inside. So everything just went uh, cold like that, as you see. Because many, everybody wants to gain from all these activities. And since there was no gain, the, the, the senior deal was the president of the commission. I, I was also a member, although I didn't go to the field, but at a certain it was closed. So it is against this backdrop that the National Committee for the Fight Against Clandestine Road Transport has met with administrative authorities of the Littoral alongside leaders of the different transport syndicates to chart the way forward in ameliorating the sector. However, the coordinator of the committee's technical secretary, Evelyn Kwa Mezogo, insisted the need for collaboration from every party concerned to enable the committee attain its objective. The only wish 
of the trade unions is for the government to fully implement their proposals, especially in eradicating corruption in the sector. Well, we are expecting a, a greater that the government should put more interest, uh, mostly the, uh, the people who are on the field should be catered for because if not, it will not work because you know in the transport sector, the, we can say it is the greatest sector that enhances corruption. So if they start collecting money from those clandestine travel, they cannot eradicate it. But if they can give feeding, let me call it that way, feeding for the people who are working on the field, then they will render a good job to see that they cleanse the, the transport sector from clandestine transporters. Plans have been made already to sensitize and evaluate enterprises involved in the sector come 2018 in a bid to better the working conditions of their drivers. End of year festivities, dealers in table belts have affirmed there is enough chicken to meet the pressing demands of the festive season. Our reporter Veronica Aji visited a chicken market here in Douala and observed that there is a considerable drop in the price of the commodity. For this festive season, chicken is available to all. Dealers in these table birds see chicken is not only available but also affordable. Two thousand five hundred to three thousand five hundred CFE, depending on the fowl's size. Some weeks ago, the price of chicken was between 2,800 to 6,000 francs. These vendors advanced it was due to scarcity of these table birds. For Christmas and New Year, chicken traders at Marche New Dido here in Douala remain positive that business will be fruitful and everyone will have chicken on the menu. Still talking about end of year festivities, so like mentioned in a headline, administrative authorities in Douala see adequate measures have been put in place to ensure the security of persons and properties during this end of year period. The forces of law and order will be present at a travel agencies, markets, and other public sports, coupled with regular patrols in neighborhoods across the city to curb the excesses of bandits. Details in the following report. Even though the end of year brings plenty of joy and merrymaking, it is equally a period whereby men of the underworld give hard times to the population. A scenario very true in big cities in Cameroon, like Douala, conscious of the stakes during such periods. Administrative authorities in the Litora, especially the Douala One municipality, are getting set to restore peace and tranquility before, during, and after the festive period. Effectivement, nous avons arrêté un train de mesure. Uh, well, we do have certain measures at our disposal to follow. For example, from our just ended security meeting with the senior divisional officer for the Wuri division, military officers will be dispatched to every neighborhood in the city for patrolling reasons because of the high rates of delinquency during this period. So, we shall have a permanent team on the field. The men in uniform will equally be stationed in strategic meeting points throughout the Wuri Division, so says the Divisional Officer for Douala 1. Évidemment, les patrouilles, les patrouilles seront sur tous les grands regroupements, dans les temples et chapelles, parce qu'il y a des veillées de prière, bref, dans tous les lieux festifs, parce qu'il y a des fêtes, des réveils un peu partout, donc nos éléments seront là discrètement, mais seront là, vous, 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 vous pouvez en être sûr. Nevertheless, if the administrative authorities must attain their objective this end of year, it will be thanks to cooperation ties between the population and the military to help unmask every criminal activity in their respective neighborhoods. Health to conclude this newscast, nursing mothers in the Little region are yet to get their babies vaccinated against tuberculosis, despite the arrival of 10,000 doses of the BCG 
vaccine in the region Monday. At the Daido District Hospital, medics say some procedures have to be met before the administration of the vaccine. Veronica Aji. The BCG vaccine has been made available, but nursing mothers are yet to get their children vaccinated. Upon arrival of over 10,000 doses on December 18th in the littoral region. So, you have stayed uh, one month, at least one month. And we see that we are all happy to receive this uh, BCG vaccine with the higher instruction of our government. And until tomorrow, the vaccine will be available for all the health facility. Officials assured the population that as from this December 19th, 2017, the Bacillus Calmete Guerin vaccine will be available. Only at the time this reporter visited the Dado District Hospital, those in charge told her off camera that there is a procedure to follow for the effective distribution of the BCG vaccine. We, we do not count our vaccine of tons. We count about doses. So how many doses are we talking okay. about? It's more than 10,000 uh, doses. It's, uh, it's, made, it's sufficient to cover all the region for the three months, the three next months. It's sufficient to cover the region for the three next months. So, yeah. While waiting to see that administrative procedures are completed, nursing mothers of the littoral region can now smile as they will get their children vaccinated against tuberculosis. And that report, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of this edition of the 1 p.m. English Newscast on STV. Join your Renée Nassis-Moto at exactly 7 p.m. for the news in the French language and Peter Soci at 8 p.m. for the news in the English language. Good afternoon. Thanks for watching and stay in the company of programs on STV.